A group of veterans from across the country were chosen to represent their states and tour the Purple Heart Hall of Honor in the Hudson Valley today. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge met up with them as they relived war memories. We just went through the night and I survived. Oliver Hickok is a two time Purple Heart recipient. He was injured twice in the Vietnam War. Stay right here at me. He's one of 50 veterans invited to tour the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor in New Windsor. Hickok was chosen to represent New York. It's good to be here, but I don't like to take back the moments. Purple Hearts are awarded to servicemen and women who are wounded or killed. This site is the first in the nation dedicated to commemorating them. I was hit with shrapnel in both legs, and I was shot in the back of my right leg. You're here today strong. I'm here. I'm here today. I'm no strong, but I'm here. <laughs> Edward Gerasimovich is representing New Jersey. He was evacuated to a hospital and cared for by combat nurses like Edie Meeks, who's still haunted by memories. We had one fellow come in. He looked like he was a football player, and he had lost two legs and an arm. Seeing these Purple Heart recipients today brings her some sense of comfort. I see that these guys had good lives after, you know, and it helps me. To deal with everything that you have to deal with. And you wished you could have saved them all. On their next stop, veterans traveled here to Washington's headquarters in Newburgh, considered the birthplace of the Purple Heart. George Washington lived here in 1782 and created the Badge of Military Merit. This is the actual original faded by time. In 1932, it officially became what's now known as the Purple Heart. Connie Johnson is one of only a few hundred female recipients. She was deployed to Iraq in 2003. I was actually a gunner in one of the gun turrets when our convoy was targeted by an IED explosion. I took shrapnel to the back of my neck. It was a quarter of an inch away from my artery, and the only thing that saved my life is I was looking the other way. Now Johnson looks to her fellow Purple Heart brothers and sisters for support and camaraderie. This group, made of multiple generations, has lived through the unthinkable. I hope we don't have to have go another war. All they ask is their sacrifices are never forgotten. In New Windsor, New York, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. The National Purple Heart Hall of Honor is open to all visitors Tuesday through Sunday. Honor and respect. It really is. They deserve it too. Absolutely. And